All right, this following video is going to show you how to create and work with movie clips in Adobe Animate. All right, so we can see on my screen here, I'm going to show you what I have on the screen. This will explain what a movie clip even is. All right, this is my first animation playing. And when I want to click, I'm going to go to my second one. And I can go back to my first. And then go to my second. Go back and forth between the two. All right, so there are a few ways to do this. One, I could just create a really, really long timeline, but that's kind of inconvenient, and there are a number of reasons you don't want to do that because sometimes you really need to keep things separate, and that's a big pain to, to create like this, you know, 5,000 line timeline when I can create it to just be two frames. All right, so what, what I've done is the first thing you need to do is create your movie clip. So I created two of them, as was seen in the video. This is one, this is the second. They just say first movie and movie clip two. That's it, I made them very simple for this example. All right, so to do that, I went to insert, new symbol, movie clip, and clicked okay. What that did is it created, oops, let me get to it. A separate timeline and you see scene one symbol one this is actually my first movie clip and all I did here was create a simple animation all right then we create our second we go back to scene one we go to insert new symbol movie clip click OK and it's gonna pop this up and I've already created it this is our second movie clip we do you know we do whatever we want here we create all the animations we create everything we need we can put actions in here, we can make it stop, we can make it do all kinds of stuff. Bam, we're done. Go back to the main timeline and now we're ready to set it all up. So the first thing you need to do when you're going to play a movie clip, you, it's going to only be when I drag this movie clip out into the stage. Let me save my video, make sure this is saved first. Yes, it is. Okay, when I drag this out into the stage, let me create a, right here it is, it's only one keyframe. So when I drag a movie clip onto the stage, it's only one keyframe. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my actions and I'm going to create a stop action on layer on frame one and a stop action on frame two. I do that so that each keyframe is stopped because I want the keyframe to stop here on frame one so that when I drag this out, this is going to play. Then I go to my movie clip layer and I simply drag this out into the screen that's it so my main keyframe is stopped but this movie clip is not stopped the stop for this is controlled within the movie clip itself then i have label frame my next is my buttons because i want to control you have to be able to go back and forth if you're doing this right i mean i could have it just go to the next one when this one's done but i'm just going to go back and forth for now I create my actions for my buttons, which I've shown you in other videos, which just go to frame one and frame two. And I label my frames, frame one and frame two. And that's it. And then when you play it, this is what you're going to get back and forth. And that's it. Thank you.